Stay tuned until the end of this video for a special sneak peek of Paranormal Quest Season 8, Episode 1. In January of 2022, we investigated one of the most shocking haunted mansions. Dude, dude, I am, I can't, this is crazy. I'm like backed into this corner here. A house with so much paranormal activity. Something just, what? Something just touched my neck. We almost couldn't keep up. Dude, something just knocked over the mail meter. Something is really messed up in, in, in this house. Stunned by the evidence we captured that night, we knew we'd return. And we wanted to share it with you. 22 brave souls traveled from all over America with one goal, to return with us to Greenville Manor and face these entities once again. All right, so everyone welcome to Greenville Manor. We wanted to start out by thanking, sending our sincerest thanks to Marcus and Katie for allowing us to come back here and have this <laughs> investigation, this event. Has anyone seen the uh, episode, the video we uploaded on YouTube from the Greenville Manor? Yes. Oh, yes. You intentionally did not watch it. <laughs> okay. I wanted to come in blind. There you cool. go. Cool. That's awesome. We could not believe the amount of activity we had that night. It absolutely shocked us. And that's why we immediately said, when we left that night, we're like, oh, we're gonna come back here soon. Yeah. And we wanted to let everyone else that had seen it or hadn't seen it have the opportunity to come in here and investigate. And so well, here we are. And Jason's first time here too. So. Jason's yeah. first time here too. So everybody give a round of applause for Marcus and Katie for that. They don't know it, but very soon they'll get the opportunity to take part in our second on-camera investigation of the Greenville Manor. Get out! Okay. Just get out! Am I dead? What? <laughs> I don't know, you tell us. Are you dead? To see if we can contact the same spirits that gave us amazing paranormal evidence just two months ago. All right, everybody, this is Dave. I am down here during our Greenville Manor event, and we are in the basement. We've got Jay. Hello. Allie. Allie. Ashley. I'm Brian. And Brian. Told you I'd forget. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we are doing our session. Everybody else is in the upper floors of the home, so we are the only ones down here. I did not hear it, no. I just saw something fly from where Brian is all the way up to right in front of y'all here. I don't know what that was. There's something like whistling over here. I'm trying to see if it was a bite. Camera, and I can't record anything. That's what what I just took upstairs is gone. That's what happened to Ryan's camera. Literally everything. Look, no files. Yeah, that's that's exactly what happened to us down here. Immediately after Dave captures this strange whispering voice, Jay's camera stops recording, and the video files he'd already filmed are gone. This is eerily similar to something that happened to us on our first investigation here. This is crazy. We cannot even get the fandom started because there's so much activity. There is a lot going on. I mean, I don't know how to explain it. I felt like I just got the touch right before you turned the call in, so... I don't know. Somebody's ready to communicate in here. Could something or someone in this basement be causing electrical anomalies that can cause electronic equipment to malfunction? This is Ryan, and I'm up here on the second floor. There is a whole group here with me. 
we are going to be doing an Estes Spirit Box session here. And one of these lucky people <laughs> around me is going to be the person that is going to get to listen first. And we are not sure who. So, let's see. I tell you what, you want to listen to first? Sure. Okay. All right, so we are here at Greenville Manor and Mike is listening. Can you say hello to us by speaking to Mike? He'll tell us what you say. If you walk up to him, stand right beside him and try and talk through that box that's in his, that's in front of him there. Good. So, Andrew, um, they told me up earlier stuff was going to be happening up here. They were up here by themselves. They actually said stuff was going on up here. Um, of course, what I told you earlier, this is what I believe to be the epicenter of the, uh, the haunting, is up here. That's right. And it just continues to... <laughs> it's, it's just non-stop up here. And there's anybody up here with us can give us a sign? Dislike. Is that what you heard? Yeah. Who do you dislike? Do you not like us up here? Do you want us to leave? I swear I keep seeing right there. Or the doorway is or something mm -hmm. like there. It gets darker. Yeah. If you're over there, there's a green light over by the fireplace you can touch. We have a REM pod right here on this, on the gurney there. Whoa. Whoa. Well, thank, thank you. Are you that spirit of the little girl that I've seen upstairs? Whoa. I think that's the response to that. I mean, you got I just touched it and backed off, so like... Was it something that you needed help with upstairs? We kept feeling like you were scared or something. You just made that go off. Can you do it again? Who is it that still lives here at Greenville Manor in this house? Who is it that still lives in this house? First. First. Yeah, the first voice. Is there anyone in this room that you recognize? If you recognize someone in this room, tell Mike their name. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Can you hear us? Can you hear our voices? Here. Are you a man? What? What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? I asked if you are a man. Are you a female? You don't have to be afraid of us. We come in respect. We would just really love to get to meet somebody. So don't be shy. Come on in here and speak to us. Tell us tell us your name. Let us know you're here. Now I'm going to tell you, this is where I get scared. 
when it gets completely dead quiet, it's almost like it's getting ready. Mm -hmm. It's collecting energy up here. Am I dead? What? <laughs> I don't know, you tell us. Are you dead? Okay, Pam, there for a second, I don't know if it was calibrating or what, but it looked just like a... <clears throat> I got a signature in the chair right next to you after, am I dead? Okay. And then it looked like it was going up the wall, so I don't know if that was legitimate or if it was calibration. Okay, well, I'm sitting still. So if that was something, can you come sit in the chair again? It is cold right here. Yeah, I'm feeling like a real heavy presence. I'm starting to feel really uneasy right now. If you're making him feel uneasy, can you try and touch that red light again right there? You good? I feel real anxious and real. like what we were feeling upstairs was like way, way, way heavy. Do you need to step out? I'll, I'll be okay. So if that's you, can you make that go off? Just to let me know that that is you. So you can now talk to Julie. <laughs> Maybe you'll be more comfortable walking to the center of the room and talking to her. Would you like some of us to leave the room? Is there too many of us in here for you to feel comfortable? Sound like I said hi? Hello. It sounded like a man, because I could hear it through the headphones, too. Do you want to stick around and talk to us, sir? With so many people all inside this room, it may be driving away anyone who wants to talk. So we move out into the hallway to give Julie some space in the hopes that more responses will come through. All right, we moved out of the room so that Julie could feel, or you had felt more comfortable to talk to her. Stay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's a stay. Stay where? My room? Oh, my gosh. Wow. Do you want us to come back in? That's really weird, though, that we walk out and that it's stay, stay in my room. Stay where? My room? Stay where? My room? I don't know if anyone else is getting this. My ears are ringing. I don't know if anyone else has gotten that up here yet. Not yet. Okay, because they're ringing. Is there an Elizabeth here? What was that? I said, is there an Elizabeth here? No, there was a, there was yeah, a, there was a phone. No, Sound like it was right next to you. Yeah, right next to you. Yeah. yeah. Listen. Listen. Okay. So look. Right. Thug, listen. That was... We're listening. You have our attention. <laughs> ball, ball, ball. There it goes. Yeah, there it goes. Did you see it? Mm -hmm. It got real cold right here. Ball again. Michael.
And we've been down here for half an hour, and it hasn't gone off till now. What's weird is when I was walking back towards over here, my leg got kicked. Like, felt like somebody hit the inside of my ankle when I was really? walking. Like, right here. That's strange. And then that started going off. As soon as he turned his camera off. Yeah. As soon as Dave turned his camera off, it went off. It's almost like it didn't want to be on film. That's what I was saying. You like that music? So whoever's making that go off, thank you. Are you afraid of us? Tell us how we can help you. Door. It's a very woman voice. Do you want, do you want me to open the door? Get out. <laughs> Just okay. get out. <laughs> Hello. Oh, that one was clear. Is your name Rebecca? No. No. Do you know Rebecca? There's a little girl in here. What's your name? What was that? Was that someone's stomach? Is that someone's stomach? Like a. Sound like. like a yeah, have you heard that? Yeah. yeah, I heard it. What's your name? Is there a little girl in front of me? Elderly. Elderly. Okay, so I can tell you that's what it says elderly. Um, I used to never come up here without saying I'm coming up because we've been told many times that there is an elderly woman up here and an elderly man. So that would confirm it. All right, we've given you some room, some space. We put both of those toys over there for you. But now we wanna try and play a game and we're all gonna turn around and face this wall. So if you'd like to, you could go ahead and try and make one of those go off. We're not looking. Thank you for doing that. I know you can, I know you listen to me. What about the music box? I got a test for you. Make them both go off. Thank you very much for doing that, by the way. We appreciate it. And in your opinion, did anything that came through that she said out loud, was it intelligent? I would say, yeah. A lot of it was creepy, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, in some of the answers, like, I felt weird. Really? Almost, like, dare I say, a bit lightheaded. My hands are sweaty, I guess. Are they? Yeah. They are. <laughs> well, that's good. But All yeah, right. I would definitely say some of them were intelligent. Before we end our Estes session on the second floor, we wanted to see if the spirits of the Greenville Manor would communicate with someone they remember. This is Danielle. As a child, she lived in this house with her grandpa John, and in that time, she experienced paranormal activity that scared her. The question is, will these entities remember her decades later? Do you remember Danielle? She used to play here as a little kid. Your? Your? We thought you'd feel comfortable talking to her since she spent a lot of time here. You know her, you know her energy. Do you remember her grandfather, John? Did 
Did you used to scare her as a little kid? Maybe you don't remember Danielle because she was called Button. Do you remember Button? Now I ask, do you just not like to be on camera? Is that what it is? Can you make some point up to let us know that that's what it is? I'm gonna come over there and grab those toys. So if you'd like to try them one more time, now's your chance. I'm walking over. Do you wanna try it one more time? All right, well, thank you anyway. I thought I heard John. I was talking about her grandpa. Yeah. Are you talking about Button's grandpa? John used to sleep in here. Did you ever t try to talk to him? Did you ever try to communicate with John? Do you want to hurt one of us? I don't know what that said. I'm going to cut on this. We've got a little over an hour on this as well. Yeah, I was going to let you know if you guys wanted to cut on the cameras, you're good on that. But you can absolutely keep investigating up here. It sounds like every every group had something happen. So really, yeah, well, that's that's good. Yeah. Can you tell us how many are in this room right now with us? Play. Oh, can I be done now? <laughs> <laughs> that was freaky. Ryan. Was it like a child voice saying play? No, it was a man. A man? Kid, play. Oh. I don't like it. Kid, play? <laughs> yeah. I did see you flinch and the wires yeah. were far away from you. Yeah. yeah. So you felt something touch your elbow? Yeah. For the rest of the night, we investigated this manor together, and every single person who came left with a personal story of their own experience. Oh, wow. That's pretty consistent. Yeah, the K2 is all three of them. I can't wait to go to the EVP. Yeah, I think it's going to be the EVP. We had so much fun sharing this haunting night with some of you, our subscribers, and to see you experience one of our favorite paranormal locations. You all are the reason we keep doing this work and creating this content and we can't wait to do more of these events so we can bring you with us to some of the most haunted places in america and now a sneak peek of paranormal quest season eight episode one dave we are about to investigate what is said to be america's most haunted and evil house Buried Scratch. Buried Scratch? Really? I want you to check my neck right here. I feel a burning. And the question remains, like everyone always asks, is it really a little girl or is it something posing as the spirit of a little girl? Sally, 
We brought you a nice new pretty doll. Sally, do you like that new doll we got you? Whoa. Uh, Hopefully, if this evil entity exists, it'll come out and show itself on camera. Uh, that, that was phenomenal. Reach out and try and touch that. Three, two, one. <gasps> What'd it just do? It reached out and touched it. And it just went off. It did.